Ayahuasca has two um, plants in it normally. It has a vine, which contains enzyme inhibitors, and it has a, a leaf, which contains DMT. DMT, if you smoke it, it will do marvellous things to your brain. If you eat it, it will do nothing, because it will be broken down in your gut, unless you inhibit your gut enzymes with the ayahuasca vine, right? And then it lets DMT get through the blood-brain barrier into your brain, and you can meet God. There's another enzyme system called the cytochrome system. It's got 51 members, uh, five of them are involved in breaking down all of the drugs which you are likely to encounter in your life. So that's one of them. Uh, NMS in, if you take it on its own, is a mild sensitive. If you take it whilst inhibiting this particular enzyme, CYP3A4, it becomes like uh, mescaline. It becomes really, really strong because the body doesn't break it down. And you can see that it's very similar. So <coughs> very similar to mescaline. Uh, this is one of five uh, enzymes. Uh, four of them are inhibited by cinnamon, which is one of the ingredients of the anointing oil. And one of them is inhibited by cassia. It's cinnamon and verum and cinnamon cassia. They're two different types of cinnamon. Isn't that curious? When the priests went into the tabernacle, which we're going to talk about in a minute, they would have a massage with all this stuff, inhibit all of their enzymes, which would stop drugs getting into their brain. Also cannabis, also myrrh. Oh, I forgot to give you those of 